Thanks for coming by, Mum. You look after yourself now. I'll be fine. Dear old thing, isn't she? She's always worrying, but I guess that's what mums do. She doesn't see so much of me now I've got my own place. Welcome to my humble abode. Here, I'm king of the castle. I'm my own boss. I can live exactly how I want. I won't apologise for the mess, because that's just how I like it. Best of all, I can play online games against anyone I want all day long without anyone nagging me. Yes, get in there. Who said all good things must come to an end? You see, I believe life should be all about having fun. That's why I love the internet so much. Isn't it amazing what you can get up to? I've got so many great friends out there. It's really interesting finding out all about them, what they're getting up to, their hobbies, that kind of thing. There's loads of sites we can get together, play games, or just chat away. Check it out. I love to fool around. I've got this one game where I play detective. It's a kind of guessing game where I try to work out where my friends live, what they look like exactly, the school they go to. And bingo. I can get all the information I need just by doing a little bit of internet research. Kids haven't got a clue what James Bond here is up to. You see Jade over there? It was easy finding out about her. Take a look at this. Isn't she lovely? I got it from her boyfriend's profile. Thanks for that, mate. I owe you one. Don't tell them this. Rule number one, never put pictures of yourself or your friends online that you wouldn't show your mum, dad, auntie Vi or your granny. I couldn't believe my luck. There she was for everyone to see. No passwords, nothing. All it took was a few clicks and I've got her email, IM account, mobile number, pop in her address and I've got a bird's eye view of where she lives. Rule number two, Make sure your user settings are kept to private, so only your real friends can get in. I know her route inside out. Every alleyway, every nook and cranny. I know her every move. Watch, she's going to turn left and hang out at the shops for 15 minutes. Told you so. Genius. We've had loads of chats online. We got pretty close. Rule number three, make sure you know who is on your buddy list. Someone who you think is an online friend might not be a friend at all. But don't you worry about that. Excuse me while I say hello. Hi, is that Jade? Yeah, it's Justin here. Remember me, sweetheart? Did you do what I asked? Good girl. Leave it under the bush. Oh, poor thing. She looks so distressed. She shouldn't be. I told her no harm will come to her as long as she does what I say. And so far, she's obliged. This contains special photos of her, just for me. You know, something a bit more revealing. How sweet of her. I knew she'd do it. I've got her exactly where I want her. But she's embarrassed about what she's done, and she doesn't want to get into any more trouble or her mates finding out. There's no chance of her running to the police in a hurry or telling her parents. Actually, it's quite simple. All she needs to do to stop me bothering her ever again is click this button. That's rule number four, by the way. But don't tell her that. Now for the main attraction.
These should keep me entertained for a while. Might even share them with a few mates online. She deserves my personal thanks. Maybe I should pay her a visit. Poor old Justin. Turns out there were people who wanted to pay him a visit. Now it's his turn to get a nasty surprise. You see, it took me a while, but I realised I had to do something. I had to make this stop. I guess I was scared, because Justin knew everything about me. I mean, everything. I hadn't thought about who else could see the pictures and stuff in my profile. I was just thinking about how good I looked to my friends. And my boyfriend in year 10. I didn't realise that someone could put it all together online and even find me, then pretend to be my friend. I never thought that anyone would ever use that stuff against me. That they might show my parents, or that the girls at school might know what I'd been saying about them on my wall. I should have kept my profile private, and I should have known who I was talking to online. Now my pictures are out there forever. And there's nothing I can do to get rid of them. Justin said he'd show everyone. Make it all public. So what could I do? At first I thought nothing. Nothing but give him what he wanted. But then I remembered. I don't have to put up with this. There is someone I could tell. Without getting in trouble. is how my nightmare finally came to an end.